Nah, whatever, it's fine. I wasn't in the middle of a dungeon or anything. I can just kind of be here. So, um, thanks to the, uh, tireless efforts of my fan base, uh, in particular Super Gamer Rob, um, I know where the last fusion is, and it is in here. Um, now I want to show something, because that one does not appear 100% of the time. At least I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't, because, um... I did check this person at one point off screen and um, allegedly you could see the thought bubble appearing in the last video for like a 30th of a second. I don't freaking know, but anyway, let's just get this over with now that you won't actually want to do it anymore. Like, come on, what is this garbage? I thought we were beyond this. I think that sums up the Kinstone fusion uh, pretty well. Just the fact that the entire concept is garbage and it's random as anything and has no reason to really exist. So we're ending on a good one. So uh, I'm going to guess that that is a blue Kinstone piece. I have no real reason for guessing this other than the fact that I know it's not anything actually good. So it's either going to be a kinstone piece, some money, or some shells. And of the three, I'm guessing it's just a blue one. So let's see. Damn it, I was wrong. Oh well, close enough. So here's the final count, or final before going into the dungeon at least. I am missing a particular shape of blue in, in its entirety, unless that one just doesn't exist. I don't really remember. I thought there was three of each. But anyway, before we go back to the dungeon, um, or the castle, I guess it technically is, a couple things I'm apparently supposed to do. Let me talk to Karlov again, because I guess you get something for having all the figurines. I don't really know. I feel like this is a bad idea. But, but you said I have them all. Yeah, I can't even do more than one. So, what do we just get, like, a special prize from this? No. I mean, okay. See, apparently I'm supposed to get some kind of metal from him. I don't really know how you do that. Um, I guess there's like a few other ones that you don't get until the post game, so maybe I'll check back at that point. This guy doesn't give it to you. What about the other guy wandering around? Oh, he's not even here anymore. Yeah, I don't know. Let's go talk to uh, Tingle though, because he's everyone's best friend. Also, since I never actually showed this on screen, from what I remember, um, should be common knowledge for anybody who's played this game, but you can actually go up here and sleep in your bed to fully heal. I did not know this until my final off-screening searching the entire map session. It would have been nice to know that earlier. I mean, it's not like it was exactly hidden, I just never bothered checking, so I don't know. So, let's see. What do we got? Yeah, that I did. Oh. Okay. And it replaced my bag. But yet it still contains the items. Okay. That's pretty good. So, does the thing from Karlov replace the shells then, I'm guessing? I don't freaking know. So that was uh, that was a thing. I'm going to very briefly look up the Karlov medal or whatever it's called. Make sure that I can like if I can get it, I'll get it, and if I can't, then I'll come back later. And then uh, I will cut back in the dungeon. Okay, so no, I can't actually get the medal yet, but I didn't realize that this was a sound test. That's kind of interesting, I suppose. Let's just pick a random track and see what we get.
something barely audible. Okay, whatever. So yeah, I'll cut back in the castle. Okay, I didn't realize I hadn't been in that staircase yet. So here we are on the dreaded second floor. Um, and I only took a massive amount of damage from falling in pits and also lost some rupees from the uh, annoying, like, fox enemies. Because, you know, I'm going to need full rupees and being down by eight is totally a hindrance, but I don't know. Um, so let's just continue onwards and see what we run into. Apparently tornadoes. Not really what I was expecting, but uh, it breaks up the monotony a little bit. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to avoid that. Luckily, I did. So, now I need to check if there was a hidden door there, and I can't actually tell because it's this game and the map doesn't indicate it, so... Yeah, I have no way of really knowing. That's fine. There probably wasn't anything there, and if there was, then I'll totally remember. Yeah, I can't even say that with a straight face. I'm not going to remember. Alright, well, let's get past this thingy. It's like the shortest and least threatening fireball of, fire bar of all time. But I will still get hit by it, won't I? I'm totally... yeah, I did. I mean, if one of the clones gets burned, does that really mean that I have to? I, I don't necessarily agree with that. Also, I should probably uh, just jump over it. That would make sense. Assuming that works. It does not. Okay. It's okay, I deserved it because I made fun of the fire bar. God damn it. So not even paying attention. This will be fine. Except I don't... Oh, no, I can just hide down here. I'm smart, and I'm good at this game. Neither of those things were true. This bombable? No. And we get more excellent outside time, adventure times. Come on, grab your friends. I think I watched, like, three seasons of Adventure Time on a, uh, totally, totally legal website, and then just never went back to it. Not from a, uh, not because I didn't enjoy it, because I did. I just kind of stopped caring about it, I guess. I assume that st show is still going. I haven't heard anything about it in a long time, though. All right, so let's see, down here, we want to probably just go in that door, but let me see what's over here. Nothing at all. Let's make sure that it's nothing at all. It was not. It was a trap. Note, it may have not actually been a trap in any sense of the word. Well, I probably shouldn't be going too far, because I will forget that I have not gone in that one door, so... Clearly I'll keep going. Okay, now I'm gonna go back. Still not sure if this is gonna be the last video or not. I'm kind of expecting it to be, but... It could go either way, I guess. So yeah, I don't think I can do much in here. Nope. All right, off we go. Had to animate that bridge again, it was important. Yeah, I'm just gonna check every door in the order I find them, because who knows. I mean, I guess. Do I wanna go this way? It looks like if I continue the other way, it will probably lead to a key or something, so let me actually check that first. I'm gonna try to be... Oh, I can't even go this way. Never mind. 
But yeah, I'm trying to be as aware of the map as possible. Um, that was actually a point that was brought up in the video where I kept mentioning how, like, people were going to complain that I was not understanding what to do, etc. Um, one of the main reasons why I'm particularly bad at figuring out dungeons um, in this series is because I don't really spend that much time looking at the map, because I, I usually like to avoid just staring at a map screen in a recording. Like, if I'm actually playing a Zelda game on my own for the first time and I don't know where to go, or, I mean, even if it's not the first time, even if I just generally don't know where to go, um, I'll usually look at the map quite a bit and try to, like, work backwards to figure out what places I haven't been, where there's a chest I need to look at, that kind of thing. Just look at the chest, don't open it. Looking at it's good enough. But, uh, since I am not doing that, that's what's kind of causing a lot of these problems. So I'm trying to be better about that this time. I'm gonna go this way first. This room is decidedly green. It is decidually green. Okay. Now, did that door close as soon as I went in the door? Or... Yeah, okay, so that must be like a one-way. I am not quite sure how I get in there yet. This I have definitely been in. And I have no reason to be back, so okay. Until I figure out the secret of the closing door, I don't think I can do much in here. Just make sure I can't like put out these fires or anything. Can't shoot these eyes on the wall. Nope, didn't think so. And that's pretty much all I've got. <laughs> Forgot about that move. That one's apparently really useful for Dark Nuts. I will, again, try to remember that. I've got one last video to uh, make up for all of my shittiness, so... Better do it right. Yeah, okay. Can I explode these emitter? Oh. <laughs> that made sense. Alright, let's just wait for the platform then. Good. Maybe get on the platform would make a bit more sense. Why? Why is that happening? What the hell? You can't even place them on this? I don't have to transport the bob -ombs, do I? Because that would be a little bit annoying. Um, I'll try. Oh, good. <laughs> do I get one more chance? Hmm. I feel like this isn't going to end well. They'll probably respawn if I go in the room again. Well, that one's gone. Yep. Okay, so how do I actually do this? I mean, there's always this, which I haven't tried yet for some reason. Mainly because I don't know what this is going to do for me. I know, I'll bomb this. I don't think there's any way I can hit that switch. Uh-huh. God damn it. Okay, so let's see how these react to different items. Because uh, slashing them makes them run around, which is kind of what I wanted to do. What does this do to them? Nothing. Arrow, probably instant explosion. Yeah. Can I do... Th oh, actually. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. Oh, god damn it. I just have to be a little bit faster, maybe. Come on. There we go. I assume that was the solution. 
If it wasn't, then whatever, it worked anyway. Also, that door is still closed. How do I hit those? Like, I can jump, but I can't jump and slash. I don't think there's any way for me to transport the bombs up there. Okay, I'm officially annoyed by this puzzle because I feel like it shouldn't be really this hard to figure out. Wait, no, I wanted to do... I don't think you can jump and shoot. Oh, what the hell? That just works? I mean, I guess? It looks like that's a wall. I can't freaking tell what that's supposed to be. Oh well. Let's just do this for a few minutes. Run up the end game timer. It'll uh, change the RNG. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm... I've yet to see what these rooms are for. I noticed that the last one had a single diamond in the middle. This one does too, so it's not count to the diamonds. I kind of doubt that these windows do anything, but I want to check them just in case. Because I do not want to have to come back here and start randomly doing shit until something works. So yeah, probably not. That's uh, a little bit broken, but okay. I probably want to go up, because I think if I go right, it's just going to be another green flame room. Okay. Have I been in this one? Actually, no. Okay, yeah, let's see what this is first. That's a shortcut I don't particularly need. I'm sure that's going to come into play somewhere. I'm trying to figure out how. Like... I, uh. If it has something to do with visiting the green flame rooms in a certain order, then maybe. But yeah, I'm not seeing the point of that quite yet, so... Let's just go in here. Oh boy, another one of the- oh. Does that work? Would also help if, uh, I actually remembered which button was which. That is causing me a bit of a problem. Well. I'm not quite sure how I'm supposed to be using this move, because it so far has not hit him a single time. He still has the shield and stuff, so yeah. Every time I ask how to fight these things, someone tells me, and then I forget. The one thing I remembered was use the jump slash, and it didn't work, so I am officially out of ideas. I'm just gonna do shit until it works. Ugh. I want him to basically just run at me and then I can attack from behind, but uh, yeah. Not my greatest moments fighting these things. Can you use bombs on these? Oh, yes you can, actually. That might be useful. Okay. <laughs> I guess he was almost dead anyway. Oh. Let's show all four of them. Oh, Jesus. Three? Okay, good. Don't be three. Okay. 
Seeing as how that one almost killed me, though, that uh, does not really sound like a fun time. Um, I am going to go heal. Yeah, running. Heal and then run back to the castle, taking as much damage as possible along the way. Let's see how much I take. So far, only a quarter heart. Come on, we can do better than that. How disappointing. Alright. Actually, was it the blue orb? Yeah, it was. Okay, so I can go back and fight all the dark nuts. Before I do that, what's in here? Oh, I need... Huh, okay. Lock blocks. It has been uh, many a year since I have seen one of those. No, actually, I don't remember when I saw them. I think I made a comment about him in, like, the last dungeon. And here I am, thinking that this is going to do something, even though the blocks are clearly in the way, so I don't know what the hell I'm thinking. <clears throat> I also don't know what happened to my voice there. But anyway, let's, uh, fight us some Dark Nuts, I guess. Let me try the sl jump method on this guy. He's a different color, so that might mean it works differently. Yeah. Not really seeing how to use the jump attack. Like, I know that just jumping and attacking probably isn't going to do something, but you can't attack after the double jump, and the single one, I don't think, goes far enough to really do anything tricky. So yeah, I, I'm just going to stop bothering with that because it doesn't work for me. Yeah, bombs seem to work pretty well. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and check out what this does. Probably leads up to a key. I'm just gonna abuse the hell out of bombs now, because... Okay, you know what? Screw it. They're more trouble than they're worth. Oh, boy. I didn't even notice those. I mean, I saw the shadows, but my mind did not go to Wallmasters. Why does he sometimes do a spin attack at the end? Like, ugh, come on. Eh. Are these on a timer? Yes. Okay. And just in case it is still on a timer, let's haul ass. Probably not, though. Alrighty. Random block pushing for fun and profit. Random block pushing that doesn't do anything. I can't push this one. Oh, I can probably push it down. Yeah. So... Let's, let's take one more look at this one, because I think I'm missing something incredibly obvious here. This one can only move up and down. This one can move left, and it's on a freaking wall, so it can't move any other way. This one can move left, and I don't know if it can move up or down. If I do this, I mean, I guess I can just fall in the hole, but I guess I have to. Just being sure. Oh boy, Mumblies. That is their new name now. Well, that was a non-puzzle. Overanalyzing! Also, that goes outside. I don't want to go outside yet. I want to get this key. A demon, how unexpected. That's fine. A cat is fine, too. Well, let's go hunt down the other jerks. Is 
there's gonna be two of them? I think it is. Yeah, it is. This almost works. It's obviously a lot harder when there's two. But uh, I'm at least getting hits on them, which I usually cannot, so... Yes? That was fun. Just gonna pretend that didn't happen. Alright, well... Random Skype call aside, that was okay, I guess. So I guess for each one of these, we're just gonna get, like, a little mini puzzle, and then... Yeah, that's pretty much all I can say about that. Not sure how strict the time limit on that is, but whatever, wasn't hard. And, oh boy, ghosties. Not to be confused with the mumblies from earlier. Oh, there was a ringleader. I have not seen the ringleader mechanic in a while. I don't remember if that showed up in this game before. Alright, well, that's two down. So, um... I'm not sure if the big chest that is blocked by all the lock blocks is, uh... gonna be just a boss key, or if it's gonna be some, like super end-game item. I'm assuming boss key, because I don't know what other items there could be. I've already got the light arrows, so... Yeah, I don't know. Let's just continue onwards. I'm going to do the bottom left first, because there are more rooms over there that I have not visited yet. This puzzle still sucks. I don't like that one at all. Alright, so, will we get interrupted with a Skype call again? I'm gonna say, actually, the chances of that are pretty high. Man, all those times fighting these without bombs, I am, like, ashamed now. When he sucks balls, he feels so ashamed. Not gonna do the rest of that song. Although, for anybody curious, it was from the YouTube poop AVGN Meets Coffee Man. One of my favorites. Alright, so, let's see, we want to go... Hmm. Let me plan this one out. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Screw planning. Just go. this, and then... Okay. Yeah, that wasn't that hard. More ghosties. If I kill the wrong one, do boogans appear? Boogans not to be confused with ghosties or mumblies. Well, there were no boogans, so... I think we're okay. But were there spooks, though? There might have been some spooks. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, for the record. Spooks is just the cowardly lion from The Wizard of Oz. Uh, Boogins, I think, was from something. I don't remember what. It's just a thing that I like to say every once in a while. Where does this go? We like to buy some pot. Alright, I'm okay with refill rooms. Gotta max out on those bombs, yo the rate I'm using them for the Dark Nuts. I would almost say I'm bound to run out of them, but I'm really not, because I had, like, 70, so whatever. So only one door left, and it's the one that was almost kind of... There was, like, that weird backtracking area. I don't know if I had to do that, but I'll find out in a second, I guess. Nope, here he is. Yeah, I've got nothing. I love how easily cheesed these things are when you have the bombs. 
Yeah, I'm not seeing what the point of that was. I guess just a shortcut, which is fine. Did not need it, but that doesn't mean that nobody used it. Alright, so... Actually, how is this going to work? Hold on. Oh, I can just use one. The fact that there were two of them was making me think that I was going to have to use them both, but I think if I do this, it'll be fine. Let's just slip on through. And, uh, actually, that... Okay, no. Alright. More boogans. Or spooks, or ghosties, or whatever the hell I'm calling them today. No, but there are fire robes. Which are boogans in some respects, I suppose. Somebody please... Oh, oh, I got mumblies. Some somebody needs to stop me from saying these things, because I don't even know what is even the hell. Uh, alright. That didn't really seem to do a whole lot. Oh, there we go. Let us investigate the big chest, then. If it is not the boss key, I will be surprised. I guess I could have used the warp tiles, but I forgot about that do that one last. If you don't do that one last, then you lose the whole game. It's like the secret uh, doorway that leads to Peach at the end of Mario 3, that if you uh, don't go in it quickly enough, then the game just locks you out and you get stuck in like a time warp. Yeah, it's a big key. I like how sometimes it's a boss key, Sometimes it's a big key, and sometimes it's a big key specifically with no capitalization. Whatever happened to capitalization? It used to be so cool. Sorry. Actually, no, I'm not sorry at all. Why am I apologizing? So, uh, we are rapidly approaching the end here. Ha, 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 ha. That was my line reading. It was good. Okay. Sorry, I'm getting distracted by Skype noises again. Zelda. There is no time. Get to the roof. There is no time. Except for this asshole's wasting a bit of my time and also doing a... Ton of damage, Jesus. Okay. And you know, just in case you need a hundred rupees or however many that was. So that was not enjoyable. I'm gonna see if this thing drops hearts. Uh I would like it if they didn't run off the edge actually. We got at least three of them. That was better than nothing. Wait, did I have to leave them all alive? Oh, what the hell? Oh, no, no, there's a thing here. <laughs> Why? Can you not roll as the clones? I don't think I've ever actually tried that. Oh, yeah, button turns into cancel. Huh, what do you know? Well, off you go. Get rid of this bottle here, I don't need it. Well, not gonna stop me from wasting time. I'm genre savvy. I know things. Oh god. They are fast nuts. The uh, rare equivalent of dark nuts that are exclusive to... Uh, the Himalayas, I don't know. Did 
They do not have very much stun time, do they? Now, um, I could use one of those charms, but I'm gonna save those for, uh, Merrick. And no, I'm not referring to Merrick from Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged. That was a, uh, that was a Retsu Fresh reference. Nothing better than explaining your references. No, actually, the better thing is to just not explain them at all, because that's what I usually do. Here, have a bomb. Here, have a carrot dip face. Here, have another carrot dip face. That was a reference to Matilda. Okay, now I'll stop. I like to think that Vaddy is just, uh, kind of hanging out, like, waiting to ring the bell again. He's like, oh, Link isn't quite done fighting them. I should wait. I'm not sure what that voice was. All right. It's a good thing I figured out the bomb trick. Otherwise, I would have had a really bad time there. All right, so... I'm going to get this thing prepared, because I'm probably going to use it at the beginning of the fight. I don't know how hard he's going to be, though. He might be, like, stupid easy. Granted how bad I've been in combat in this game up to this point, though. Anyway. Uh, you, you could have rang the bell earlier, you know. Light Wars. So not reading this. Really? Really, you're just gonna create a hole? He's like, I liked this area better as a battlefield. This is true power! Shoots the moon at you. So I'm going to save state just because I am not confident that I will do this, but uh, with any luck, it will not be that hard. I mean, of course. He was that thing all along. Anyway, I'm actually going to do this because I don't know what to expect, so I'm just going to go completely defensive at first. That uh, seemed... Not so bad. I just need to not get burned like a moron. I... no, no. I don't know what that thing is, but I don't want it. I do not want what you are selling. If anyone out there can pick up what I'm putting out, then you call on back. When does this thing wear out? Is it based on how much damage I take or how much time passes? Because I probably shouldn't have used it immediately if it's time-based. Can I please hit him? Yeah, there it goes. It ran out. Also, I probably shouldn't have grabbed that fairy. I didn't expect it to be a fairy, though. Will it purify the darkness of his icy heart? I don't know. Now, isn't Vaddy supposed... I keep saying Vaddy. I don't know if it's Vaddy or Vaddy. Isn't he supposed to be like the Wind Mage? Because so far I'm not seeing a whole lot of wind here. I'm seeing fire, lasers, and like the element of dark. And that's pretty much it. Also, I really am not sure what I'm supposed to be doing in this phase. Um, let's see. I doubt bombs will do anything, but... Um, no, not so much. Do I attack him from behind? See, I thought the light arrows would be the correct thing, because it's like, you know, light versus dark, but 
since you can miss those. I know, I'll suck up the fire. I swear, if this is actually the solution. Oh, what the hell? I'm sorry, I didn't realize that these were, like, wearing a dark orb. That was not really that obvious. But, oh well. At least it didn't take me, like, an hour to figure it out. You know, I could teleport away, but nah. Also, that teleporting noise is reminding me of... Oh, I was like, I'm trying to think what it was. It's the, uh... It's the sound of Gravity Man's weapon in Mega Man 5. When you just, like, reverse gravity in the game, it's like, blah, 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 blah. I'm sure able to hit. Having fun, repeat stuff, repeat stuff, repeat stuff. Come on. Walk right into it like a dipshit. Like, three times. Commentate on bad things that I'm doing, but don't actually fix anything about it. And there we go. At least that phase. I assume there's probably more. I have not seen such bravery. Would you just take a look at this? So he's a Kirby boss, okay. Ha, ah, your puny vacuum won't save you from this. So, now arrows? I mean, any Zelda boss with a giant eye is usually arrows. I can't actually tell if that did anything. I think it might have. Okay, you can hit him with the sword. Oh, also, I should probably be cloning. But, but why is that one blue, though? I learned this from the Stingray fight. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and chug that other thing. Don't know how useful it'll be, but hey. Don't think I'd ever really need it otherwise. So anyway, I don't need to sh actually shoot these, do I? I can just kind of hit them. No, maybe? My logic is basically, if you run out of arrows, you wouldn't be able to get more unless you can get them from slashing these things, and they don't seem to be dropping any, so... I don't know if it's specifically arrows or what it is, but arrows are working, so I'm going to stick with them. Yeah, spam! This is a uh, unique boss, I'll grant it that much. At least it's not a head and hands boss. I mean, there's a lot of floating, mysterious, ethereal thing with an eyeball type bosses also. But, uh, no. So they do drop arrows, just not very often. Yeah. So the, uh, the two charms that I got really didn't help that much, I'm gonna say. Maybe it's because I used them at a bad time. But, uh, I mean... It's the final boss. I don't know what other better time there would be. <sighs> Come on, really? Gotta pick up those arrows, because I only have 82. Ugh. Come on. There we go. How many more phases of this? I don't think... I think that was three so far. 
probably going to be at least four. I mean, granted, I, it didn't die after the third, so of course it's going to be at least four, but I'm getting a rule of four vibe from this thing. Light arrows don't do anything extra, do they? Nah. Okay, let's clear out some of this Gilgamesh, because I don't like it being here. Of course he creates more. Come on. Yeah! <laughs> I'm bad at timing this. Just in case you couldn't tell. Rule of four. Do we get a third phase? I mean, obviously you don't, so... Oh no, generic villain ending noise. Not, not noise, just speech. How could you be so powerful? Oh no, etc. Quickly, break the cur- oh, it's a cutscene. I was gonna totally wa- okay, now let's just waste time. As low are you gonna yell at me? <laughs> Good, it doesn't even let you. Alright. Rah! Duke Onklet is under- okay, now. Must never take this game seriously at any point. Link, what the hell is that on your head? Oh, Ocarina of Time escape sequence. 